60 degrees this morning. Uh, that is 15 and a half degrees centigrade. Look at that. I saw that first thing coming out the door. Cloudy, gloomy, overcast. Look over here. It feels like the gloom, the clouds are being blown away, but maybe it's an April Fool's joke on me by Mother Nature. So, come on, Hope. What you smell? Where are you going? Hold on. All right. Uh, last night, well, we had Easter dinner before my afternoon walk yesterday. Uh, and then after the walk, and I fed the dogs, put together the daily video, and then, uh, I don't remember what I did, oh, role-playing journal. I got back to work on a role-playing journal. And then Matt contacted me, 7.30-ish, I think, and I was in the last 10, 15 minutes of the, uh, audio, and I said, I'll get on as soon as I can. But let's get this first draft done. So it did not take me very long because it was right at the end of the game. And then there was like a few minutes of us chatting before I turned off the audio. Or I turned off the recording. So I got on with him before 8. And then Adam got on shortly after that. And uh, I think we played four games total. And we lost the first game me and Matt did. I think we died. And then the second game. And then all three other games that I'm, I think we took bounties. And had fights. We had a big fight at Fort. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we actually won it. Two teams came in to get us. And then a third team grabbed bounty and left. And that left us a bounty. Uh, so we just went and got it. Grabbed the middle. I was hoping to be halfway through getting that bonus charm skin. By the time we finished, then we made it. And our last game, uh, we just went in, got the bounty from Blanchett in a spot that I've never seen it, and left. Or I've never actually fought it or dealt with it. And I was like, that's good for me. I had the points. I had, uh, we had a nice, fun last game, which is what I'm usually looking for. And yeah, it was a good evening. I chatted with Aaron for just a little bit and then I got to bed by 11, I think. Or a little after. Up at, Quarter till seven to get laundry started this morning. It's linen's day, first day of the month. So I had some dreams that I wanted to, to that I remember. Uh, first I was on a bus. We kept watching the cars go by and some of them were going by backwards and had propellers on the backs of them that were seemed to be pulling them forward. And I went to the front of the bus, I sat down with Whitney Helms, who was the young woman I knew when she was in college, at High Point College, after I graduated. Uh, I was in the theater department, real pretty. She was so pretty. And um, sitting there talking, she's all dressed up like, uh, she's from the 20s, her hair's pulled back tight. She's wearing a hat, she's got this uh, really cute dress on, uh, like a vest, I think. And, uh, we're just chatting it up, and it was really nice talking to her. And then I realized she was sitting on her a piece of luggage, not a seat. And I was sitting on this weird high seat behind the bus driver. So I said, no, let's switch. And I switched with her. I sat on her, her luggage, and then the bus stopped. And she's like, well, I need to go in here for a minute. And uh, I said, all right, no, no, hope, 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 come here. Hope, 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 hope. Oh. Okay. So, she got off the bus, and I was still sitting on her luggage, and the bus driver pulls away, and I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess we can open up our luggage and take what we want now, and I was just kidding around, but I was a little nervous. The bus goes a little ways, and then drops us off at, what, it was supposed to be a butcher shop, 
but I think they also had a lot of cheese or something. We were in another country. And we go in the shop, and uh, Greg Brady is in there. Young Greg Brady uh, from Brady Bunch, sweeping. He worked there, and I turned to him and said, it's Greg Brady. And uh, this butcher shop was huge. There was all these, there were all these cabinets with, I don't know if it's meat or cheese, like in one or two slices in a package with the plastic on the front so you could see the, see the product. And it smelled really nice. I remember thinking, this place smells really nice. And, um... I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going deeper into the place and I turn to my left and I see that there's this large area of the men's room. That's why we had apparently stopped there. So I headed into the men's room and that's where the dream kind of ended. But the first part of the dream with talking with Whitney was really nice. There was another woman there with us too, but I don't know who it was. Had another dream later. Well, I dreamed about my ex-wife. Uh, I don't remember anything about that, honestly. I wish I did. I think we were real friendly with each other. That's about all I can recall. And then I had a dream about Dad. He had built this vehicle. It was a big rectangular vehicle. Really tall on the sides. Just made of wood with wheels. And he sat on this perch in the front. It was like a wagon. But it had an engine in it. A big engine, apparently. And he's like, come on, let's go. And he's backing it up. And I'm like, oh my god, that thing's going to flip over. Um, and eventually he gets it in the street. So we walk over where we're supposed to sit. He has rigged up this like platform on one side of this thing. And it was just bouncing as the vehicle moved. Like he's made of wood. And we were supposed to go into the river with this thing, I think. But first we had to drive to get there hours sitting on this wood and I was like no I'm not riding in that and I just left I just walked into the woods I think I had a, a, a suitcase oh shoot there we go good and I just walked away I just left left mom and dad I don't know if Patrick was there or not that's all I remember that was a weird one I about stepped on these stairs this morning they uh they were very close right up in that area didn't notice them till I heard them run away. Five of them, it looks like. We came around the switchback here, and there was a crack from right by this little tree. And then Hope jumped, and I spun, because I didn't know what it was. And there they were, heading up the hill, like, we're out of here. Hey, 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 hold on, girls, hold on. You're pulling me in three different directions. I wonder if they're close enough. Nope, not quite. All right, three more, at least. We got that one, and two up there. And they're looking our way, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> That's a lot of deer this morning. Five down there, three here. Might be more than three, one was further on, but. All right. Oh, hi, Hope. Look how pretty you are. All right. Afternoon walk. It's 78 degrees out, according to our uh, thermometer on the deck. I haven't done the math yet. Minus 32 is 46. Yep. Uh, divided by 9 is 5.1. And then 5.1 times 5 is 25 and a half degrees centigrade. That's warm. All I've done all day is worked on Showdown Highlights video. Videos, I got a long one done, and then there were two short ones, which was nice. And the short ones were only about 10 minutes long. The long was about 23. And I got the long one done by this afternoon, and then got both short ones done this afternoon. Also did laundry all day. Let's go up, up, up. Come on, girls, come on. Uh, that's about it. I was thinking about taking the evening off, but I think I'm going to work on at least maybe one more video. Hope, what are you doing? Come on. Hope, Hope. Hope, come on. Up, up, up. At least that's the plan, I think.